hey guys in this video we're going to learn how to create a flicker text animation in friction so let's get started open your friction okay start a new project okay i am going to use two seconds okay fps 30 and I'll click on ok then use your text tool add a new text layer now i'm going to type flicker okay you can use any word you want okay then we need to change the font i'm going to use Montserrat black okay then click on your object tool then click anywhere in your canvas then click back on your text layer okay then on your keyboard press s key and move your mouse now you can rescale your text okay now i think that's enough then use your align options to align the text at the center of your canvas okay then let's see how we can add the flicker text animation okay then so expand your text layer properties i mean then find the option called text effects right click on it add effect then expand it then click again expand it okay now here there's an option called transform expand it now put that opacity down to zero okay then we don't need the, the diminish value so we're going to use zero then expand the periodic option then increase the value of influence okay now we uh, by using point you can see what the periodics look like okay this is that periodic uh, periodic graph okay now we are going to increase the value of period to uh, to set how the text flicker should look like okay then by using the shift i mean changing the value of shift we can see how it affecting our text okay now just doing that is not enough we need to add a keyframe for our these properties okay so on left side of shift there's a white dot appearing here so click on it okay now we are just added an keyframe then move forward around one second okay or we can just type 30 because this video is 30 fps okay so then move forward then change the value of shift okay now we can see how the animation is look like now we need to play okay i think that's too much maybe around 300 that is enough now we need to play the video sorry the animation to see how it just look like okay now we can see how the animation look like i think that's enough we can increase the smooth value to to see how it is look like okay that's how our animation looks like as you can see now we can just adjust the period to see if it changes uh, the look of our animation okay so I think guys that's enough now that's not enough okay we need to uh, after a couple of times uh, we need to bring back the text on full form I mean we need to see the full word okay so how we can do it by using influence okay now just uh, move backward okay just add a keyframe for influence then move forward next to the next to the shift uh, shift okay shift keyframe okay then decrease your value of influence i mean bring it to down to zero okay then if you play your animation you can see how it is uh, how it is look like okay now you can see how the text is flickering okay you can use the loop option to play it back uh repeatedly okay guys that's look like nice isn't it now using graph editor you can Im improve your animation further well i am not going to do it because i think this is fine for me if you th if you don't think it's fi not fine for you you just should use the graph editor okay now let's see how we can add in a glow effect okay how, how we can add in a fake glow effect just duplicate our text layer okay just go uh, right click on that text layer actions duplicate okay then choose our layer right click on it actions raster effects click on blur okay now just change the value of blur something around 440 90 or maybe okay then we can just change the blend mode to screen to improve the animation further then play it back to see how it look like okay now we can see how the animation looks like i think that's fine now let's see how we can uh, render our video okay just go to the option called a q then there's option 
plus sign you can see that so click on it now we have just added our scene into render tab okay then expand our options okay just go to the output we're going to choose our video now i'm going to choose my format um, i am going to use mb4 kodak i think h264 is fine bitrate around 50 and uh, there is no audio in my video so we are going to uncheck we are going to uncheck the audio okay just click on it then press ok then we need to choose our destination for our video so there's an option click on it okay then wherever you want just go there and save your video okay so i am going to call it flicker text i'm going to save it on my home folder just click on save that's not enough there's a button called render click on it now our video is started rendering okay then just wait for a while okay our animation is finished now let's see how it look like just open our file manager okay here is our animation just right click on it open it to see how the animation looks like okay guys i think that's enough or you can use just shift plus uh, plus l if you're using an mbv player because the video will is shorter and when using a shift plus l the video will be repeated i mean video will be on loop i mean it will play repeatedly okay okay guys that's enough that's enough i think um then that, that's enough guys and what do you think about this video let me know in comment section and don't forget to subscribe me and don't forget to like my video thanks guys thanks for watching